together for a school assembly and then we're given the gift of education. In four days, there were five announcements that changed 4,000 students' lives. Students at Benito Juarez and Farragut Career Academies, Al Ravy and Morgan Park High Schools, and Noble Johnson College Prep can go to college with all expenses paid. The group making it happen is called Hope Chicago, and its co-founders, Pete Cadence and Ted Koenig, join us now. Well, when we covered this last week, Lourdes and I uh, said we wanted to meet the people behind it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I want to start with um, how does somebody who run an, runs an asset management firm get into the business of changing lives, of getting kids onto college? Can you, one of us, sort of explain that a little bit? This has always been a passion of mine. There's no greater gift that you can give kids than an education. That's how I got where I am. That's how many of the people that I know made it to where they are. And what Pete and I wanted to do was try to level the playing field a little bit. We were lucky. We grew up in an uh, area, in a zip code, in a, in a place where we could go to college. Um, that's not a given. For most inner city kids, going to college is not a right. It's not an opportunity. It's a dream. And Pete and I are all about trying to create these dreams for these kids so they can achieve the same things that we achieve. I'm busy during the day, but mm -hmm. at night, this is what I'm focused on. Pete, I saw an interview with you uh, where you had a different take on that whole notion of uh, the American dream and whether it really is accessible to everyone. And that's part of why you wanted to get involved. Yeah, when you look at the data, um, we have one of the lowest social mobility rates of any country in the de developed world. In other words, to get from the lowest quintile of income, if you're born in the lowest quintile of income, to the highest quintile of income in this country, by the way, the highest quintile of income is uh, an income of about $92,000 a year, only about 7% of Americans are capable of making that switch from the lowest quintile of income to the highest over the course of their lifetime. Uh, and we see that really exacerbated here in Chicago. And we see exacerbated not just across the wealth spectrum, but you know across, across the longevity spectrum. For example, the average life expectancy of someone on the south side of Chicago is 59 years old versus the north side of Chicago, 89 years old, the 30 year longevity gap. These are societally intractable issues that we can do something about by starting to invest in kids and their families related to education. All right, let's 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 talk about what happens long term because having the money, the dollars to go to college is one aspect of this, but the other part has really got to be guiding some of these kids and supporting them because in many cases they may not have a parent or an uncle or a friend who has gone on to college and graduated. So how do you uh, make that part of the program? Yeah, I mean, you, you hit it on the head, Lords. Uh, money alone is not the answer. That's the really interesting thing that, that Pete and I came up with. We've created a wraparound services program for the children. You know, other people have tried to give money, and that doesn't work. Kids don't mm -hmm. finish school because life gets in the way. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Pete will, can talk about it, but what we've tried to do is we're trying to become a clearinghouse for businesses, for corporations, for individuals that want to provide capital and invest in children. And then we are going to take that money, provide scholarships, and provide wraparound services to these children so they can get through school and deal with the issues at home that invariably they're going to have to deal with. Pete, let's pick up on that point because, uh, first of all, you know, how do you get people to contribute? I know you two have given a lot of your own personal money to it. Um, and, and what do you do for folks who, who may not have college in their future? Not everybody wants to go to college, after all. Ben, one of the big things for us, for Ted and I and Dr. Janice Jackson, who is the CEO, is we do not want to, A, put barriers up against any kid or any family, and B, we are not trying to mainstream any of these students. Whatever their dream um, is, they should be able to pursue that dream. If they want to be a master welder, we certainly subscribe to that notion that they should go and be a master welder and we will pay for them to go get that post-secondary training to become a master welder. If they want to become a forklift operator, great, we will support that as well. That is considered post-secondary education and training under our 
under our mm -hmm. approach. Mm -hmm. By the same token, if they want to go to the University of Illinois or the University of Illinois Chicago or any one of other uh, the other fantastic public institutions and the four-year institutions here in Illinois, we support that as well. No barriers to entry, no obstacles for these families, uh, and no mainstreaming. That, that, those are core principles uh, of this program at Hope Chicago. Well, we wish you very, very good luck. Pete, thank you so much for joining us, Pete and Ted. Uh, we appreciate your time. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Thank, thank you. you. Well, Fat Tuesday celebration.